Hi, boys and girls. I'm Mrs. Edelbrock. I am your music teacher this year. Some of you I know and some of you I just don't know, but we're going to get acquainted. <clears throat> Today I'm going to teach you a song. I'm going to teach you about the steady beat. And I'm going to teach you about the singing voice and the speaking voice. Now you've been using your speaking voice since, oh, probably you were one or two years old. So this is my speaking voice and this is my special sign for my speaking voice. Speaking voice. Can I see your special sign for your speaking voice? Come on, show me. Come on, come on. Good. You got that? Okay. So now I'm going to show you the sign for singing voice. your special sign for singing voice. Singing voice. Good. Can we do that one more time? Singing voice. Now we're going to play a game and you're, I want you to close your eyes. Fermez les yeux mes enfants. That means close your eyes my sweet children in French. And I'm either going to say my speaking voice. Now make sure your eyes are closed. I'm either going to use my speaking voice or my singing voice. Now you listen and you decide, is it singing? And you would show me singing voice. That's our special sing signal. Singing voice. It's actually flat like pizza. Can I see your singing voice? Can I hear your sweet singing voice? Very good, very good. Now your speaking voice is speaking voice. Okay. Ferme les yeux, close your eyes. Mes enfants, my sweet children. See for play, please. Closed? Okay, let's play the game. Are you ready? Singing voice. One, two, three, show the signal. Did you show it to your mamas? Okay. Speaking voice. One, two, three, show. Did you give me match my signal? Good. One more time. Let's see if I can fool you this time. Singing voice. One, two, three, show. Good. You showed me your singing voice? Okay. So now I'm going to use my speaking voice and I'm going to tell you the first part of the song. And I'm going to show you how to keep the steady beat in this. This is clapping. So remember we said, I am the steady beat. I am the pulse of music. I can be rapido, rapido, fast, fast. Or despacito, despacito, slow, slow, slow. When we meet in our Zoom class, we'll go over that again, I promise. You'll learn that. And then you'll be, when you get to sixth grade, you'll be so smart. You'll say, oh, I know what that is. I know that's a steady beat. In our music, we're going to have a heartbeat. And you'll see later on, the heart will keep the steady beat. But for right now, let me say the first part of the song. Time for music. Clap your hands. Can you clap your hands with me? And as I say it, would you clap? Time for music. Clap your hands. Good. Do it by yourself this time. Using your speaking voice. Good. Let's add our singing voice. Time for music. Clap your hands. Your turn. Ready? Don't clap yet. Let's just sing it. Time. Good. Are you ready for the next part? Let's add clapping to that. Time. Sing it with me. Time for music. Clap your hands. I'm letting you do most of the work. Okay, let me play the piano this time and see if you can clap the steady beat while I play. Okay, did you clap? Let's sing and clap. 
clap this time. Time, are you ready? Get your singing voice there. Time for music, clap your hands. If you're ready to go on, show me thumbs up. Okay, we'll go on. Next part says, clap your hands, clap your hands. Ready? Sing it with me. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Sing it by yourself. Clap, ready and go. Sing it with the piano. Clap, there's your starting note on your singing voice. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Do it one more time. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Good. Okay, let's connect those two this time. Listen, listen for the connection. You don't have to do anything, just use your listening ears. Listen one more time, and I'm going to sing, sing it for you. Time for music, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Can you put those two pieces together with me this time? Sing it with me. There's your starting note, are you ready? Let me hear your sweet singing voice. Time for music, clap your hands. Let's do that again this time. Mrs. Edelbrock's going to sing quieter, and you're going to sing with your sweet singing voice. Starting with the first pitch. Part of our song is exactly like the first one. So the first one said, time for music, clap your hands. Here's what it sounded like when we sang it. Time for music, clap your hands. Your turn, try it again. My turn. Time for music, clap your hands. Your turn. Time for Are you ready to try all three parts? Are you brave? How about if I be brave and do the three parts for you? Just listen. This is the piano and singing. Time for music, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Time for music, clap your hands. Let's clap and sing all three parts together this time. One, two, starting pitch time. Time for music, clap your hands, Clap your hands, clap your hands. Time for music, clap your hands. Did you get it? Let's do it again. Time, get your hands up there, ready? Time for music, clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Time for music, clap your hands. I'm having such a good time with you right now. I want to see if you can sing it with me playing the piano. Can you find that steady beat all by yourself? Can you be brave? Time. One, two, ready and go. Time. Okay, I think 
you learned all three parts. The last part is different. And it says, clap your hands with me. Now, what voice did I just use? Can you show me? Clap your hands with me. Yep. Speaking voice. Okay. Let's clap and do that this time. Clap your hands with me. Your turn. My turn. Clap your hands with me. My turn. Clap your hands with me. Your turn. Clap your hands with me. Hey, did you use your singing voice or did you use your speaking voice? Show me with your hands, Amy. What did you use? You're right, you used your singing voice. Clap your hands with me. Your turn. Good. My turn. Clap your hands with me. Your turn. My turn. Clap your hands with me. Your turn. All right. Are you ready to put the whole song together? Are you ready to be brave? If you're ready to be brave, say, I am brave. That was our, that was our warm up voice. Oh, say, oh, okay. Say, I am brave. I am brave. High, low, warm up voice. Okay. Why don't you just listen to Mrs. Edelbrock sing all four parts? And I want you to use a new kind of voice. I didn't tell you about this one. It's called your thinking voice. It's right up here. And you gotta do something very special right now. You gotta take your little finger like this, get some magic in there, blow on it. Turn your thinking voice on. Oh, mine's not working right now. I better turn it up a little bit more. Thinking voice, ready? I'm using my singing voice and you think the song while I sing. Miss Edelbrock, you have to sing. Time for music, clap your hands. you to clap your hands while I play the piano and I'm not going to sing this time I want to hear your sweet voice I want to see hear your sweet clapping and I'm gonna go ahead and give you the sweet introduction too remember we said the introduction is the beginning sing Time. this at home you're going to click on the video and you can go through the whole song and when you get it you can do great things with that song you can tap your knees 
You can go down and tap your toes. You can tap your shoulders. You can tap your head. You can give me a pound around. Let's do time for music and pound. See how that feels. Time for music, pound and pound. Pound your hands, pound your hands. Time for music, pound and pound. Pound your hands with me. How about flap your arms? Can you flap your arms? Let me see your wings. Oh, you look like chickens. I got a chicken song coming up too, and I'll, I'll show you the Roger the Rooster. Let's flap, flap your arms. Time for music, flap your arms. Flap your arms, flap your arms. Time for music, flap your arms. Flap your arms with me. How about it if we do a touch your nose, listen, and touch your ears. We call that nose, ears. Let's try it. Time for music, nose and ears. Nose and ears, nose and ears. Time for music, nose and ears. Nose and ears with me. Did you hear my steady beat stopped? What part of the song did my steady beat stop on? I'm going to do it again, see if you can find out. Time for music, nose and ears. Nose and ears, nose and ears. Nose and ears. Did it stop on the third spot? Yeah, it kind of did. I stopped singing and got the beat all goofed up. So you have to keep singing and you have to keep the beat going with your nose and ears. Let's try it again. Time for music, nose and ears. Nose and ears, nose and ears. Time for music, nose and ears. Nose and ears with me. There you go. Okay, we hope you learned the Time for Music song. We're going to be singing this song every time we meet on Zoom. And when you come back to the classroom, we are going to add instruments with it. And we're going to have more movement with it. We're going to be walking around the room. Hopefully, we'll maybe just walk in place and we'll see what the guidelines are. But it was sure nice meeting you today. And I'll see you next time. Okay? Say, everybody, bye, Mrs. Edelbrock. Bye, Mrs. Edelbrock, with our singing voice. And let's wait and say, see you next time, with our speaking voice.